What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another Disney Cars unboxing. Today, I am reopening Antonio Bel Belloc Excelente. I believe that's how you pronounce it, but but throughout this entire video, I'm just going to be referring him to Antonio since that's the only name I can properly pronounce through his whole entire through his whole Italian name. So let's get into. Let's get a look at let's get a better look at the character. So right away you can see I like the 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 art. This is his art from the Cars One series. He is from the Radio Spring series. Very nice, very nice. I think I noticed about him is that he's very loose, you see? Like he just slides out very easily it's not as tightly packaged as china did with their cars they um they um package their cars a lot more tightly much much more tightly um the bio for this does not look like there's a bio i don't think the uk or Foreign countries do bios. I think they should, but all it says here is Radio Springs. You guys can tell me in the comments below if this um, character had a bio of the series on the card, but it doesn't look like it has that. All it has is Radio Springs pronounced in um, five different languages, and his name pronounced in two different languages, American and... I have no idea what name he says, but this is a tunning car. You can tell because it says somewhere around here. This tunning, yeah, made in tunning. So this is a tunning release, twenty nineteen, and all the, all that's just marketing stuff. So he looks very great. I'm actually very happy to get this guy because now to have him, I have the full. I have all the Maseratis made from from the cars movie that have that mattel have decided to make at the moment so with that for you guys i'll be back with antonio out of the package here we go with antonio out of the packaging and i made this um kind of interesting discovery i i would say while i opened up antonio i was playing with the other i was i was using the other maseratis released from um the disney from the Disney line, seeing if if they fit in um the the blister that Antonio was in, and it looks like that the blister is a little oversized. Because here, let me show you. I'll, I'll show you. It'll look better on um a colored card. So I got I got myself called a Maserati right here, which I'll be com which I'll be comparing with um Antonio in a little bit. So if you see at the moment, right away. He doesn't look that fully into the packaging. And if you look right here, you see that little bump? That's where the mirror would go, but it, it's not. That's not where the mirror is. The mirror is completely not even close to it. There's his mirror. That's the blistering for his mirror, where the mirror should slide in. And it won't even work because this blister is just completely inaccurate. You can see like the wheels don't fit well in the in the, the way this thing was formed and it works for um any um maserati it's not just because antonio is a completely different um different molding of the car it, it looks like it happens for all of them because see his wheels don't fit well he has the same problem with the blister you got him as well you can see it's it, it's not it's not that it's a new model it, the, the blister created for Antonio doesn't seem that well made yeah because you can see Antonio himself he doesn't even fully fit you can easily tell that he's way too big for this blister so it kind of explains why he was sliding out a little bit because this this blister is not made accurate to the size of the character so I, I just thought that was a little interesting, so I felt like sharing that with you. Anyways, so let's get into the review of this amazing character. So you, right away, right off the bat, 
you can easily tell that he is based off a um, not based off he's exactly made like a Maserati if you didn't notice from the shape of him you can also tell from the from the crown on the grill that's the emblem of the Maserati um, he is made this is what this is the model of the Maserati Quadriporte from 2006 in my opinion it's it's a decent it's a decent looking model I don't think they make these models anymore they moved on to like the GTs also known as the Grand Turismo I believe and that's the more that's the more common model you see nowadays on the road but you do see um, these kind of models sometimes there's actually one of these in my neighborhood just a few houses down from mine there's a guy who owns this like, same exact type with he also because he owns he owns it in a white as well so it reminds me a lot of his color but anyways enough talking about the brand and all that let's get into actually looking at the character himself so you can see right away he has very blue eyes but interestingly enough on the his card his eyes aren't that blue what well, they they are blue but they're not that dark of a blue they're more of like um a sky sky blue well that's a sky blue well that's a yeah his is more like a i would say frosty blue in a way completely different from what the die cast has he's more of like a dark oceanly blue but anyways you can see they did a decent job on the Tail lights, headlights, all that. Um, for some reason, he, his his um the paint job they used on this guy doesn't really look white. Well, it is it is white, but if you own this guy in person and you look at him, he doesn't really look like a white car. Like, let me show you a white car very quickly. A plain white car made from China. We use this guy for example. This guy is a pretty much a white car. He looks very light white. But compared to Antonio over here, he doesn't really look like white. He's more of like to me, he looks more of like a creamy tan white. Or creamy white. Like not like he's not as white as this. He looks like he's like white but mixed with a little bit of um The best way to describe it is that he's a much darker white than um, Nate over here. I believe that's what his name is called. So that's that. I don't know if there's any, I believe there is some differences compared to the Chinese model. I don't know if the paint job is one of them. Um, but if it is, I make it the Chinese one just because the paint job is a better white than this one because if you own this one in person you can easily tell right away that his white is not as brightly of a white as other die cast cars that you've owned but anyways on the side here you got the the two doors you got that silver trimming along his window you got some turning Indicators, indicate, indicators. Um, he has some more trimming around the the back window. His license plate reads B nine five J four, and that this is a completely original license plate, which I'm happy about. His tail lights isn't that bad, and the other side is the same. On the base, that's the end of the string. You can see um, they just have to put some legal stuff on it and they have to credit the the brand I believe or did they not they did not credit the brand on this guy oh, that's very interesting there's no brand on this it does say made in Thailand and it has Mattel and all that but it doesn't look like they credited it which is very interesting I'll show you in a second and why that's interesting first off I like to compare him to with his friend Costanza del Coisa, I believe his name is. I'm just gonna call him Costanza. You can correct me if that's not his name. This is him. I got this guy at Toys R Us back in 2017, I believe. So we're gonna do some comparisons right away. Um, 
we could talk about the trimming because the trimming actually kind of annoys me because look at the way they, they did it they literally just looks like they paint it on it looks like it's um pretty poorly put on the die cast I'm not gonna lie you can see it's not the best put if you it's not put on well but the trimming along the windows on this one looks a lot cleaner a lot more efficient you can say and this is actually on all the other Maserati models that have been released from uh, Mattel you can see the, the trimming along the windows look completely different they look a lot more professional like here's Bindo for example you can see the trimming along his windows look a lot more professional also with Carlo Maserati it looks a lot more professional so it's kind of sad to see that Tynan kind of messed up that feature on the car because that's 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 one of the things that makes it um stand out is from like the chrome well it's not like chrome but like the silver lining outlining so they kind of like ruined it because it's not even silver it's more like a gray on this car so that's kind of sad the rims the rims aren't bad the rims seem to be the same they could have done a better job with the What's it called? <laughs> the grill. But again, it's not bad. The emblem seems a lot more seems to be a lot more smarter on Antonio than Costanzo. On the back, you can see they have they they have completely different license plates. You can see his is B nine five J four. His is B nine five J three. Now it's interesting, I'm very curious if you guys are brothers instead of friends. The tail lights, well, that seems, that seems very accurate to the Mattel version. The tail lights, they are very closely made. That's probably the only best thing made from them, is the tail lights. How about the headlights? The headlights made good? Uh, they're pretty good. They could have done better in the headlights. But yeah, the only thing that bugs me out about that the San Antonio die cast is um the the, the trimming along the, the the windows. And if you see right here, they actually credit the brand Maserati. You can see it right there. They also credit on all the other ones that have been released. Here's Bindo. You can see the credit on him, Maserati, TM, which stands for trademark, and Carlo Maserati, and Maserati. So it's very interesting to see that they don't, they didn't brand or do any trademark symboling with Antonio. So that that's very interesting. Maybe if anyone knows, you can probably tell me why that that is. Um, but I'm actually very surprised that they did that. Didn't do that. So that's very interesting. Overall, they look very nice. And before I end the video, I'd like to show these two cars with the Ferrari F430. That's what they called him in the movie. Um, he, they did give him a name, but I'm pretty sure that's like, this is like a racer's name, Michael... Shumaka, I may be pronouncing his name wrong, but if you remember in the Disney um, Cars movie, they um, these three guys pull up in Luigi's um, store and ask for some tires. I believe he asks for some tires, and Luigi just faints due to the sight of seeing a Ferrari because he's a big Ferrari fan, and I don't blame him. I, de I definitely understand why he's a big Ferrari fan. And he's from Italy, which is where Ferrari originated. So that's also very cool. That was a nice thing to see at the end in the movie. It was, it was also very comedic and funny. So yeah, this is, these, is all, these are all the guys that um, were seen in that scene, plus Luigi and Guido. I'm just too lazy at the moment to pull them out. But these are the guys that were in that, that 
that part and these guys were also released all in a three pack but I believe they were lenticular so that was the downside about it so I'm actually finally happy I'm able to get this um I would call it a crew I finally got this um crew together because they look pretty good together the Ferrari and the Maserati they look very nice but yeah that's basically it basically the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed um my thoughts on this it's okay um they could have done a little better on the white, they could have improved it, they could have made it a lot more um, sharper because to me it's not the best white, they could have done much better on the white and the thing I wish they did um, actually did keep on with the tradition to Thailand is the making is the outlining of the windows that's that's the main downside for me is the outlining of the windows it's not properly made um that's the only sad thing about it but overall the die cast is very um well made i'm happy i finally was able to get this guy i was looking at the final lap release of him because i think that's the only release of him as a single but now i don't have to really look at that but i may still get the final lap series release just to see if the quality is better but anyways guys basically this video hope you guys enjoy enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye, -bye. Thank you.